say ah. Uh, Why are you failing, bro? Okay, my friends, so this is gonna be the villa that we're gonna be looking around. You ready? I'm gonna show you. It's not this. Are you ready? Are you ready? This is our new three bedroom villa. As you can see, beautifully decored, beautiful interior. I really like what they've done with the staircase over there. I think, you know, that's looking really nice. Um, the furniture as well. We've got a nice living room here, you can see. Um, very beautiful sofa. I'm only joking, this isn't the villa. I'm actually waiting for the agency's team uh, to come and pick me up right now and they are gonna take me and show me around the villa that we're gonna be looking at today. I don't suit helmets whatsoever, like look at me. I look like a, something from a John Wick movie. Anyway, I'm gonna wait for them now. They're gonna pick me up and we're gonna go and see the actual villa. So I will see you in unos momentos afección. This is what happens when I wear a helmet, fam. I look like a drowned rat. Okay, so this is currently the place, the entrance. Yeah. We come in and not a bad pool and a pretty nice view if I'm being for real. Like, I don't know if you guys can see that or if it's gonna show up clearly on the iPhone's uh, camera. But, like the view is decent. And then we have kitchen area here. So this is interesting. <laughs> technically a living room um, and then kitchen area some people still live here at the moment they're out of the, right now so that's why it's kind of messy and there's stuff all over the place but kind of a cool vibe here not gonna lie like it's nice with the fan there cooking here I don't know what this is but we're about to find out okay no we're not it's locked um, as you can see it's kind of like a cool vibe in here not bad I like this. Um, and then through to these. Uh, yes, please. Oh, this one's open. So this is one of the bedrooms. Yeah. So this is what the bedrooms look like. Again, people are currently still living here. So that's why it's still like that. But, you know, not bad. Bathroom looks nice as well like pretty decent if you're asking me um yeah i like the view the view is kind of nice not bad it's rather peaceful my friends my zombies. that's my only issue is next door is construction now apparently in bali that is a big no-no so I'm going to ask some friends what they think about that uh, and whether or not they think it's a good idea to even go for it because that could be an issue around here. Um, but the villa itself is pretty sweet. Like, it's a really nice villa. It's perfect for three. These rooms are exactly the same. So here's like, this is the master bedroom. I'll get that flick it down. Um, pretty big. Like, we're pretty spacious in here. Um... Mirror there, what's up people, what's up? And then um, into bathroom. They're literally just copy and paste. The places, the rooms are copy and paste, all three are the same, apart from one of them's got a desk over here, which is kind of good. So yeah, like I say, apparently it's a big no-no to get construction next to your villa in Bali. Um, I'm gonna have some friends, but otherwise, this one looks pretty cool. I'm kind of happy with it. Um, I'm just gonna ask about that. Sweet, all right. Woo! How are you feeling, bro? It's funny because I've already had one of these done this week as well. <laughs> really? Blood, blood pressure is still good. Food poisoning. Oh, yeah. But and I then, did yesterday. Yesterday I was bad. Mm -hmm. I had bad sleeps as well after I was sick. Seriously. I'm sorry, oh, sorry babe. <laughs> it's a 6.5. It's not fever right now. That's not fever. That's good, though. Can I see your tongue? Yeah. Say ah. Uh, ah. Uh, Excuse me? Open your eyes, please. Thank you. That's the opening shot right there. Yeah. <laughs> Bali uh, hasn't worked out as planned.
Let's go. Well, that didn't work. I made the decision at the end of July to leave the UK indefinitely. Uh, basically, my plan was to travel the US for two months, meet friends that I've known online uh, but never met in person, uh, and finally meet up. And it was freaking amazing. I loved it. I love America. The two months there were pretty epic. And my long-term plan is 100% to move to the USA. But before that, I planned on moving to Bali for six months um, with other content creators for six months. I did say six months and we lasted a week. <laughs> but yeah, that was our plan. It was going to be myself and some other content creators who you saw in the video. You saw Jack uh, who's a good friend of mine. Uh, we were going to be there for six months, baby, six months. But after we got over the high of first getting there, you know, like when you arrive somewhere new and it's like, oh my God, we're in a new place. This is amazing. Uh, and it's linking up with friends is always good fun. After we got over the high, it was quite um, imminent that I was like, hmm. I don't know about living here. Now, I've been to Bali three times. Uh, this trip in particular made me realize that there is a big difference from visiting somewhere and moving somewhere, as, as in to live um, to, in that particular location. There's a big difference. Uh, I didn't consider that before because I've never not lived in the UK. I've done long-term travel. I've traveled all over uh, to many different weird and wonderful places, but I've always lived in the UK. I lived in London and before that, the great county of Yorkshire. But after a few, let's say, incidents, um, it just became apparent Like for both of us. We were both like, I don't know about living here. Uh, and so we made the decision to leave. Now, I would be lying to you if I didn't feel like this was a monumental failure, because I, there was all this like big feeling of like, oh my God, I'm leaving the UK for the first time back in July, touring America. Uh, and then my plan was like this. And because, because a plan had been interrupted with a spanner in the works, it felt like some kind of failure. When I was on, the, when I was on that plane home, I thought, fuck, now what? It was like all of a sudden six months that I had kind of, planned out and all of those ideas that I had in my head of what it's going to be like and what content was going to be like out there and everything what that was going to be like all of a sudden was just gone but it dawned on me that is utter toss I was going to say bull then I thought YouTube doesn't like swearing so toss isn't the word that I used I thought it was a failure because it didn't go to my predetermined plan I had this predetermined plan and I envisioned what it was going to be like and then it just wasn't like that and that's fine we still went and tried it still went and actually did the thing and this is the good thing this is the good learning out of this is now that I now I know that I that isn't going to be the place that I'm going to live. And that's totally fine. Now I know that. If I never went and tried to live there, I wouldn't have known that. And it would have always been in the back of my mind. Oh, you... Now that particular plan didn't go to plan. But what if that was just a thing that needed to happen to get it out of the way so that much better things can happen and already are happening? I got a resounding answer to my research. If we don't go and try the thing, it's always going to be in here as a shoulda. No more shudders. So the plan now is to fast track USA, baby. USA, USA and UK. Anyway, I'm freaking pumped. Don't let the self pity and the doubt and the whatever the hell else tries to needle its way in and say that things were a failure because whatever you tried didn't work out. It's leading you on to that next thing, baby. It's gonna be bigger and it's gonna be better. See you in the next one, peeps. Bizu bizu. Mwah.